What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Zeb, your everyday life coach, and I provide you with tools for practical living so that you can transform tomorrow today. We are on day number 18 of this self-concept uh, challenge, and uh, we're still dealing with the term respectful. I've got a revelation I want to share with you. It's going to blow your socks off. Uh, it is. Uh, it really helped me in a tremendous way, and I can't wait to share it with you. But before I do, do me a favor. I want you to like this video. Every time you like this video, uh, you does something to the algorithms to ensure that more people can see the content. And uh, we want to impact as many people as possible um, through this content. And, um, and one way you can help us do that is by simply liking the video. Even if you don't like the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video uh, so that more this video shows up in more feeds and people can get the content and really empower their lives uh, to be better um, today than what it was yesterday. I want to talk about being respectful, and we're on day two of being respectful, though it's day 18 of the challenge. And I want to share something that came to me on this day. Now, remember, I was writing my five things I was grateful for, and uh, this was back on July the 28th. I was writing the five things I was grateful for, and one of the things that hit me about respect was just a powerful revelation that's this. A huge part of being respectful is learning how to honor the wishes of other people. All right, I'm going to explain. This is going to blow you away. A huge part of being respectful is about honoring the wishes of other people. Anytime we honor the wishes of other people, uh, and especially when honoring the wishes of other people uh, do not bode in our own benefit, it is the ultimate sign of respect. And uh, sometimes we think um, we are doing ourselves and even other people a favor um, when we refuse their wishes, um, especially when honoring their wishes um, goes against what we wish or what we desire. I know that sounded like a tongue twister, uh, but the, the, the nuts and bolts of that is simple. And that is we show people the ultimate sign of respect by honoring the things that they desire. Right. And, and, and sometimes those those desires and those wishes are ignorant. They're they're negative. They're. They don't work in our favor or for our benefit, but part of being respectful, and, and this is an easy example to give you. Look, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of coaching with people who are dealing with relationship challenges, breakups, things like that. And um, seriously, I'm going to make probably book number five on relationships. Um, I'm going to talk about that because I do a lot of lives on, on the topic and things related to the topic. Uh, but one of the things I told a, a client recently is this. The best thing you can give to a person who wants to break up with you is give them the breakup. It, you may not want it. Uh, it may not be what you want, but it is. it shows the ultimate sign of respect. When you can respect the wishes of others, even when respecting those wishes don't work in your favor. And part of the pain that many people have experienced is in attempting to hold on to things, hold on to situations, hold on to circumstances, hold on to people, hold on to relationships, um, where the wish of the other party was to go another way. And um, you don't realize that as you continue to tighten your grip, you're just prolonging your pain. Don't ever forget that. When you're in a situation that you need to let go of and you're, you're disrespecting the situation by holding on, you prolong the pain when you tighten the grip. And you've got to learn how to loosen the grip and learn how to honor the respect of the wishes of other people. When you do that, you're, you're walking in what I call one of the more uh, ultimate signs of respect by saying, listen, I don't want this. I don't desire this. This isn't the way I would have played it out to be, but I take my hands off of it. Um, I take my hands from around it and um, I remain open to allowing things to be. That's a sign of respect. Uh, that, you know, letting go is a, that type of letting go is a sign of respect that really opens the floodgate for your energy to embrace great things in your life. It doesn't mean you don't have desires. It doesn't mean you don't have interest, but it simply means I respect things happening so much the way they are that I'm willing to step back and allow the certain things to happen uh, as a sign of respect so that I can receive into my life what I desire. 
as you are journaling today and as you're giving a reflection today, I want you to think about the ways you can be more respectful in your life. Be uh, more respectful of other people's wishes. Be more respectful of circumstances you can't change. And watch this completely change your life. Listen, you got two jobs. One, I want you to be better today than what you were yesterday. And two, don't forget what I told you. Now go after it. It's a